Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Neighborhood Center of the Arts Performing Arts class. Today we're lucky enough to visit the home of Jamie. Hi guys! Welcome to my tiny house. This is the copper kettle. Can you guys see how cool this is? This I, is so cool. I have been spending about the last year building this out of a lot of found materials, but also standard building materials, and with a lot of help from my community. But I would love to show you guys. Yeah, let's take a little what I've a little done. Tour. Come on in. Thanks, Jamie. Here we go. All right. Look at this. So we walk in. And this is the living room that Greg's showing you. Little sitting area. And then this is my kitchen. Little countertop and some pantry drawers and uh, all the accoutrements that a kitchen could want. A little, even got a little propane range where I can cook stuff mm -hmm. here. And over here, this is my art nook. Ooh. This is where I do all my creative juju mm -hmm. that I like to do. Feeling it. Yeah, and then of course my teeny tiny fridge. You can't go wrong with a teeny tiny fridge. Love the color. Thank you. What is that, sea foam? A sea foam is something definitely retro yeah. green, you know, is in the retro collection. Dig it. This is my handmade sliding barn door. I made that thing by hand. Dang it. Complete with all the hardware, too. Wow, look at that. And then it's a little bit dark in there. We'll leave the door open so it's easier to see, but this is my soon-to-be banyo. It's still coming into being. There is a shower space over here. And then that's going to be my potty chair. See it? Yep. It'll have its own little septic tank off the back that has wheels and a handle. Really? And a really strong cap so I can take it to go and <laughs> dump it somewhere when I need to. Good. Yep. All right. And then where do you sleep, Jamie? Um. Well, you see these stairs right here? Oh, yeah. It goes up to a loft, and this is my sleeping loft. Looks very cozy. Got a little bit of space for my clothes and a lot of space for my sleeping space. Mm -hmm. And I even have, what's very important in fire area is a fire egress point. There's a hatch window that's up here that you can open up to go out onto the roof above the living room and get out in case there's a fire. Good good call. Yep, it was part of the importance of building to code. Love it. So this is my tiny house. Thank you so much for sharing, Jamie. Thanks for coming, cool. check I'm it out, so guys. I'm so glad to be here, finally. Oh, I'm happy to have you. Good. Thanks for coming, Greg. You bet. And NCA friends. All right. Well, I'm a long, tall Texan. I wear a 10 gallon hat. He rides from Texas with his 10 gallon hat. Well, I'm a long, tall Texan. I wear a 10 gallon hat. He rides from Texas with his 10 gallon hat. Well, people look at me and say, Oh, Roy, oh, Roy, is that your hat? Well, I'm a long, tall Texan. I will drive a big, white horse. He rides from Texas on his big, white horse. Well, I'm a long, tall Texan. I drive a big, white horse. He rides from Texas on his big, white horse. Well, people look at me and say, Oh, Roy, oh, Roy, is that your horse? Well, I'm a long, tall Texan. I enforce justice for the law. He rides from Texas to enforce the law. Well, I'm a long, tall Texan. I enforce justice to the law. He rides from Texas to enforce the law. Well, people look at me and say, Oh, Roy, oh, Roy, is you the law? See y'all next week. Bye, guys.